So, um, SARS immunity, qualified immunity, call 911. We've talked about that. Back pain and leg pain linked to that. Idea of gravel, of blurred spots, on, like on Google Maps. So this may be linking the blurred spots. And one question I have as I'm looking at Google Glyphs is, uh, I suspect that there's specific meanings to things. The rainbow coronas that you see, I think have to do with, rainbows have to do with sleep or keeping something hidden, covered up. Um, the blurred stuff I'm not sure about. Uh, maybe it's linked to gravel in some way. Um, then there's doubled things that probably link to twins. There's black spots in the sky, which I think it was linked to assassinations. But um, there may be, and there's then there's these beams that seem to come out of the sky. A lot of times they're like green beams. Um, a lot of the stuff is linked to frequency-based weapons being pointed down at people out of the sky. That's what I think the beams are linked to or mind control, um, direct frequency based mind control. So there were, there were green beams like around the house where I grew up on in the 2011 screenshot. Three strong green beams out of a rainbow corona. Music, I remember finding out about you. So I remember finding out about you. I don't do 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 no, I know, I know the, the words. I don't even know what song that is or anything, but that came to me. I haven't researched it. Uh, I get the idea of stem cell research. So I'll have to go back and research that song. Stem cell research. Um, stem cell research, my concern, I have said before, my concern about stem cell research is... Um, in genetics type manipulations in general is that you know some of these scientists are doing black lab work in other words covert laboratory work and I think that a lot of these people that are paying for this stuff our white supremacists are interested in eugenics still to this day um, so one place that does assassinations and stem cell research is UC Berkeley and I think that this is problematic okay June 18th, 2020, 1028 AM. I keep meeting these entities over and over. They are linked to NASA. Met them in different places at different times. Song is I Got Five on it. So the song I Got Five on it is linked to NASA more than once in my dreams. Um, five, what is five? Five is the Pope. The Pope is linked to us because, and it's actually called the Hierophant in the Rider White Tarot. And the Hierophant is only a term that I've seen in Masonic literature. I don't see it in other places other than the Tarot and Masonic literature. So it seems like a pretty specialized thing. Um, but it's like an oracle. So it's like the um, the Sibyl. It's like some somebody, the hermit, that you keep in the cave. You know, they're not a hermit because they want to be a hermit. They're a hermit because they're forced to be a hermit. Um, and you sneak up to the cave, in the olden days, they would sneak up to the cave and listen and make note of and pass on the kinds of things that were being said and done. Now, they've got hidden cameras everywhere. But the thing about this five on it is, um, five is linked to the pentagram. The pentagram and the hexagram, in other words, the five-pointed star and the six-pointed star are both versions of the Seal of Solomon. The Seal of Solomon if you look at the number nine tarot and Rider White tarot, he's got a six pointed star lighting in his lantern. So um, the lanterns are also linked to all of this, probably illumination. People say there's a link to Lucifer. I don't know for certain whether that's true, but it probably is Lucifer, the light bringer. Um, the Illuminati definitely linked to the Illuminati, and people will use the word illuminate in a coded way to sort of say, you know, Illuminati. What are, what are Illuminati? Is another whole discussion. Um, but um, I got five on it. So I think it's like we're making a bet. Five and five is ten. Ten is the Wheel of Fortune. So, and five is linked to Chris and I, you know, as, as is the number two. Five is the 
Hierophant, two is the priestess in tarot, and both of them are linked to assassinations. Five and two is seven. Seven is a number that is sometimes linked to assassinations because of speed. Like speed, it could be speed towards success, it could be speed towards death. It's just speed. It's usually either really good or really bad. Um, so, people who are empowered, there are people who are empowered to use us to harm and assassinate other people. Um, and like I said, these people come from all walks of life. They could be A-list celebrities. They could be the President of the United States. They could be the worst gutter, total gangster, drug addict, drug dealer, kind of slime ball that crawled out of the gutter. There's lots of them. Um, so, um, any number of them could have five on it, and this is part of the problem with NASA. So, this is a bad system. Also, people seem to think that they can't. I, I don't think it's true that people can't change their minds once they take a direction, but there has been this process that's been going on for a very long time in which people are being cold if they don't hold the right point of view. Bob Dylan just put out an album, and he's talking about this stuff pretty explicitly. Um, he talks about how he held, and I, I have so much admiration for Bob Dylan, you know, and pray that he's totally protected from this and it will never touch him. Because um, there aren't too many people left who can do that. Kurt Cobain is gone. I think Kurt Cobain was a person that really was trying to do that. He's gone. He was assassinated through forced suicide. Elliot Smith assassinated through a forced suicide. Um, uh, Dylan reminded, you know, mentions the name of um, Allen Ginsberg in his recent album. I just listened to it through once, or whatever was online. I actually want, really want to buy it. Um, Allen Ginsberg was assassinated through the system, and I know that it's the Zadika Stanzo family that assassinated him. He was assassinated with the same heart problems that Chris is suffering from and they're trying probably to do to me because they keep attacking my heart. I think Michelle DiCostanzo is linked to that as well. Michelle DiCostanzo Crone. Senior State Department staff member. Um, so Dylan talks about it pretty explicitly. Um, so that's what they've been doing. They've been actually murdering people. So that's obviously going to create a chilling effect on other people who might try to support us. Everybody's going to try to just survive to the best of their ability and live, you know, their life to the best of their ability under these circumstances. However, this is getting, because of that, and this happened with the Nazis too, it gets worse and worse and worse because they realize that they can get away with this. Um, so the message, every time somebody acquiesces to this um, power group, the message that they're receiving is that they can do more and more and more harm. And I think that's part of the reason why the harm to me has been sort of incremental. Um, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for it. One is that they're making money. Um, one is that there is a certain amount of protection, you know, or the chance of retaliation. Um, if they just push me over the cliff, although it just certainly hasn't stopped some people from trying. Um, I'm distracted by this plane. I guess I'll take a look and see if I can see it. I don't see it. I have my glasses on, but it's really loud. We'll look at the sky anyway to use it as an opportunity to look at the clouds. I might be flying in the clouds. So now we're getting more and more cloud cover, which is what I thought would happen because there were so many drones in the sky earlier this morning. And I think it, I think the clouds will thicken up in the next couple days, even more than this.
Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, the point being that the more you give in, the more power they're going to have and the more power they're going to take and the more misery they're going to enact on the population of the planet. Um, I know that this isn't just the United States that's going through this, but um, I'm mostly focused on the United States. But yesterday I took a look at England because of some messaging in a dream and I saw exact same stuff in England. I saw black dots in the sky on Google Maps. It was pool, England. I thought maybe pool is linked to this idea of people jumping in pools, possibly. Um, I saw glyphs, blurred spots, new construction, black spots in the sky. So as I'm, as I'm writing this, I hear a J right outside my window squawking real loud. And usually the J, I think sometimes these J's are um, symbolic. So this idea of types. Um, so w what they seem to be able to do. So early, early, early in my life, I'm imprinted with... Your, they, they understand that people are imprinted with, I think, people that are comfort, comforting people in childhood. So, there was this thing where my dad had a beard, and as a child, I trusted men with beards more than men who didn't have beards, because my dad had a beard. That's a you know, simplistic example. Um, there's also personalities. Now, Gary Bresco was another person that you know, was around me a lot as a kid, the Bresco family, Gary and Julie both, who I saw in a parental way. Um, so... Julie Bresca is from this family named Jacoby. I think it's a, probably she's probably English. Um, and Gary Bresca, like Mike Payne, had an Italian parent and a non-Italian parent. But the Italian side just seems like it dominates in these situations. You know, the Italian families are um, very family-oriented. And... Um, So there's this sort of feeling of protection and warmth and enveloping sort of, you know, in a, in, in a culture that is family oriented in that way. Um, and I, later on, when I got involved with um, my daughter's father, I saw links between his family and the Bresca family. Native American families are also very family oriented. Um, and I was raised in isolation, isolated from my mother's family and isolated from my father's family. Um, so I would gravitate towards people like Mike Payne that reminded me either of my father or of Gary Bresca, people like that. That's by design. That was part of the design. They wanted to put me with people. Um, and so there's different ways that they did that. There's ways that they figured out how to do this long before mind control by frequencies was ever invented. And one is by psychological manipulation through childhood. Um, so Jeff Self, my fifth grade teacher, was another type that I was put with, that I would feel um, trust, trusting of. Um, that was a setup. I was actually, I remember actually running into um, Mr. Self years later when I was going out with Willie, with my daughter's father, because both of them played softball. And um, he was on a softball team that was playing when... Willie's team was playing and um, I would have been in my you know early 20s at that time and I said hi oh you know it's Mr. Salt hey it's Eric I was your student I remember him being real cold to me and I was actually surprised um, because that's not how he was when he was teaching me um, but it looks like Mr. Self and his family are deep linked into mind control and I think I think that also um, includes MK Ultra. I remember even before I knew about any of the stuff going on, reading about MK Ultra and seeing things that linked to stuff that Mr. Self was doing in the classroom. 11.02 a.m. I see Mick Jagger verified Twitter account since he's up to no good. <laughs>